Hello. So far, we have seen how the special right triangle, the 1, 2, root 5 triangle, is closely associated with golden ratio. In this part, I will elaborate some other golden features of this triangle. Like the precise measurements, precise calculations show that in this 1, 2, root 5 triangle, every future, every aspect, each and every calculation of this triangle is associated with golden ratio. Like semi-perimeter of this triangle, semi-perimeter of 1, 2, root 5 triangle precisely equals the square of golden ratio. Okay. The in radius of this triangle is precisely inverse the square of golden ratio. And not just in radius, all three x red d of this 1, 2, root 5 triangle, each of the x radius is the precise expression of golden ratio. Like the x radius opposite to right triangle R1 is equal to square of golden ratio. Another x radius is precisely equal to golden ratio. And the third x radius is <coughs> inverse of golden ratio. Every calculation, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> every calculation, every figure, semi perimeter, in red D, x red D, everything is precise expression of golden ratio. Even the trilinear coordinates or barycentric coordinates of different triangle centers of this triangle, like Jergon point or Nagel point, Mitten Pump, every triangle center, its trilinear coordinates, its barycentric coordinates can be precisely expressed in terms of golden ratio. I also want to mention an interesting thing. If we incorporate in circle, if we incorporate in circle in this 1 2 root 5 triangle, we can observe a precise ratio between the area of this triangle and its in circle. The ratio is like this the area of 1 2 root 5 triangle upon the area of its in circle. This ratio is precisely equal to 5 raised to 4 upon pi. The area of this 1, 2 root 5 triangle upon the area of its in circle with incorporation of in circle naturally pi enters into the picture and this triangle is full of golden ratio. Hence, if we calculate this ratio, area of this triangle upon area of its in circle, we get this interesting equation. See, the beauty of this equation, phi here is an algebraic number. It is solution to a polynomial equation. And pi is a transcendental number. But this triangle enables us to get the precise geometric ratio between these two numbers. And this is precise up to infinite decimal places the precise pi phi correlation. We will see the details of this pi phi correlation based upon this triangle in subsequent parts of the video. So keep watching the video. Here, let us see some other golden aspects of this 1, 2, root 5 triangle. Like, see here. Here are, this green are the bisectors, angle bisectors of three triangles of this one, two, root five triangle. And I would like to mention the angles between these three angle bisectors. The angles between three angles bisector. They meet here at the in center I. See the, see the angles between them. Like this angle here. The angle between two bisectors. This angle is precisely equal to arc tangent of 
pi cube. Okay. Angle between these two angle bisectors. This angle here precisely equal to this angle arc tangent of golden ratio. And this angle, the angle between these two angle bisectors. This angle here is arc tangent of 1. This is equal to 45 degrees. Tan inverse of 1, pi and phi cube. Similarly, the angle between each angle bisector and the opposite side. I repeat, the angle between each angle bisector and the opposite side. Like this angle, this angle and this angle. Interestingly, this angle here is arc tangent of phi cube. Again, this angle here, the angle between longer cathete and this angle bisector. It can be expressed in terms of golden ratio. It is precisely equal to arc tangent of golden ratio. And this angle here, angle bisector of right triangle and the hypotenuse. This angle here is precisely arc tangent of 3. Such an interesting triangle. Similarly, in this part, these are the in red D perpendicular to three triangle sides. This is I, or say X1, the in center, and these three in red D are perpendicular to three triangle sides. Okay, just see the angle between three in red D, which are perpendicular to triangle side. This angle here, this angle is precisely equal to twice the arc tangent of phi cube twice the arc tangent of cube of golden ratio okay similarly this angle here between these two in red this angle is twice the arc tangent of golden ratio okay and this triangle here between these two in red D. This is twice the arc tangent of 45 degree. So twice the arc tangent of 1 means it's a right triangle obviously. So every angle in this triangle can be expressed in terms of golden ratio. See another interesting thing here. See this 3 in red D perpendicular to 3 triangle sides and such 3 in red D divide this triangle area in specific manner. Area of these 3 portions can also be expressed in terms of golden ratio like area of this quadrilateral here. It is precisely equal to 1 upon golden ratio. This is 1 upon 5. Okay. Area of this quadrilateral here, this is also precisely equal to 1 upon cube of golden ratio. Okay, an area of this square in radius is 1 upon 5 square, hence, area of this square is fourth power of golden ratio, inverse of it 1 upon 5 raised to 4. And these three areas, areas of these three portions, 1 upon 5 cube. 1 upon 5 is to 4 and 1 upon 5. They add up to area of this whole triangle that is 1. Okay. So, the entire geometry of this 1 to root 5 triangle is full of golden ratio. Now, before ending this session, I want to mention a couple of interesting things about this 1 to root 5 triangle. You guys must have heard about the Fibonacci Pythagorean triples. You must have heard about the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. We can generate Pythagorean triples using the Fibonacci sequence. Like the Fibonacci sequence is like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55 and so on. 
we can generate a sequence of Pythagorean triples using this Fibonacci series. And is such series of Fibonacci Pythagorean triple. We can generate a Pythagorean triple with alternate Fibonacci number as their hypotenuse. Like 5, 13, 34, 89 and so on. We can generate Pythagorean triples with alternate Fibonacci numbers as the hypotenuse. Like first such triple is 3, 4, Okay, another such triple is 5, 12, 30. Okay, another such Pythagorean triple is 16, 30, 34. Next such triple will be 39, 80, 89. Okay. Look at this number. These are Pythagorean triples and this number 5, 13, 34, 89 and so on. These are alternate Fibonacci numbers and we can generate such infinite numbers of Pythagorean triples using the same method. Infinite number of Pythagorean triple and the most interesting thing as such series of Pythagorean triple advances these triples approach to attain the ratio of 1 to root 5 triangle. Okay. As such series of Fibonacci Pythagorean triple advances, such triple attains the ratio of 1 to root 5. Means the two cathedi of this triple approach to attain the ratio 1 has to 2. You getting my point? Just like as the Fibonacci sequence advances, the two consecutive number approach to attain the ratio between them, which is equal to golden ratio. Okay. As the Fibonacci sequence advances, the two consecutive Fibonacci terms like Fn upon Fn minus 1, this approaches golden ratio. Just like that, as this Fibonacci Pythagorean triple sequence advances, those triples tend to attain the precise proportion of 1 to root 5 triangle. In other words, if phi is the golden ratio in nature, this triangle 1 to root 5 triangle is the golden triangle in geometry. Okay. Before ending this session, I want to mention another interesting aspect of this 1 to root 5 triangle, which is closely associated with golden ratio. All I want to say is that this 1 to root 5 triangle, this special right triangle is nothing but the geometric expression of golden ratio. As we have seen in the very first part, the angles as well as the side lengths are the precise expression of golden ratio. What I am going to write here is another form of the same thing. Like we have seen the 1 to root 5 triangle, this side is 1. 2 and root 5. Remember the triangle sides 1, 2 and hypotenuse root 5 and see the angles. This is 63.435 degrees and this is 26.565 and so on in degrees. Now see one interesting thing. If we write an equation like this sine of this angle plus sine function of this angle sine 26.565 so on degrees plus sine 63.435 degrees bracket this term plus This term plus square of this term sine 26.565 plus sine 63.435 and bracket square. 
okay and this whole term sin 26 degree sin 63 degree plus the square of this whole term in bracket and if it is multiplied by 5 and divided by 6 this precisely give the value of square of golden ratio precisely okay we can also write this thing in another form like <coughs> sum of two cathete 1 plus 2 upon the root 5 okay sum of two cathete upon hypotenuse plus square of this term 1 plus 2 upon the root 5 bracket square and this whole thing multiplied by 5 upon 6 and this is precisely equal to 5 square hence the angles or the cathete and hypotenuse everything is the purest expression of golden ratio